situation. So on the org, when we have milestones connected to our cases, we need to have possibility to actually pause them when the case just resolve it, uh, resume it when case reopened and uh, completed when case is completed. So at the moment on the case we have a field uh, stop it, which allow us to actually work with uh, that functionality on the case. So if you have any kind of milestones related to the case, when you assign it true to this field, what is happening, you, all your milestones stopping. And you have this stop it since uh, field set up. So uh, based on this, you could do pause and uh, and pause functionality for your milestones but uh, how you for example could complete uh, milestones related to your case on the environment uh, if there are no let's say standard functionality for that in Salesforce if we will open out a complete case milestones topic but we will be able to find that they uh, propose for us to use uh, some milestone utils class where we, for example, passing milestone name, completion date, and case ID. And based on this information, what it's doing, it's updating necessary uh, records to what should be done. Also, there are some unit tests um, provided and also trigger. On this trigger, we also have this uh, complete resolution time milestone on the case. After update, what it's doing, checking if the case is closed. And uh, SLA start date less than a completion date and some other values it's for example checking if we have some uh, milestone with a name resolution time here an example of the trigger number two so trigger number three so here uh, i will attach that specific uh, document under the video so you will be able to check it in more details but i will share with you uh, one more option how we could actually automate it via process and flows um, so for us to be able to track situation when case is actually uh, closed, what we could do is we could have a process and this process will work based on the case and what it's do is we'll check uh, if the status is changed and if status of the case is changed to close. So once it's done, what we will do is we will run uh, our flow for update milestone completion date. So what it will give to us when we update a milestone completion date on the milestone, it automatically will set up completed checkbox on this milestone, so it will be marked as a completed in general. So into this flow, what we are doing, we are passing case ID uh, from our flow, and in the flow, it's uh, auto launch flow. So what we have here is we have logic that actually. Uh, get records for this object like based on this case id and where completion date is now equal to true and once it's done what we are doing it's we are updating completion date on this case like we are setting it to the current date in time so in general that's it if you have any kind of cooldown logic on your case when for example something happens in uh, 48 hours and your case from resolved state going to the closed state with that uh, to processes, what you could do is you could automate uh, completion of case milestones related to your case. So that's it at the moment. Thanks for the attention. Bye bye.